Hello, I am the Lone Cardman, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play a little game called Numbers. Let's dive in. Begin the game by giving all the players at the table the same amount of chips. The dealer anties in, and all the ante is is a way to start the pot. So if you want to be dealt cards, you got to meet that ante. Here the dealer throws one chip into the center, so all the other players must also throw one chip into the center. Normally, you would not show your hand, but for the sake of this how to play, we're going to play with the cards face up. Each player gets three cards, and then the dealer puts seven cards in the center. So this is called the river. You could also think of go fish, how you create that pond in the center. These seven cards are what's going to be used to determine what cards you get rid of in your hand. So the point of this game is to either be able to get rid of all your cards or have the highest or lowest hand at the end of the round. Dealer starts by flipping up the first card in the river. If anybody at the table has that card in their hand, they have to discard it. So here nobody has a seven. You could go through a series of checks or raises. That's still not a very good idea at this point. So the dealer can just go ahead and flip up the next card. All right, he flipped up another seven. Now when that happens, you draw a card from the remainder of the deck. So he pulls a new card in, and it's a four. So any player with a four has to discard that card. And again, you can see nobody has a four. You could go through and check a raise, but again, that's pretty unnecessary when nothing's changed with the hands. All right, we flipped up a five. We got a five out there. That player discards. So they are left with an ace and a queen. And in this game, aces can be worth one or 11, just like blackjack. So that player is feeling pretty good. They've got less cards than everybody else, and the hand's not too big. So here they can choose to raise. Whoever is able to discard a card gets to be the first to check or raise. In the event that more than one person discarded a card that round, you just play the the player closest to the dealer's left gets to check a race first and then go around the table. So they raised and everybody met that raise. We flipped up an eight. That, that player decided to raise as well. If you want to stay in the hand, you have to meet the raises. The dealer was raised on, and everybody met that raise. So we flipped up another seven. So we pull a card in from outside, and we got a nine. Player discards their nine. That was the dealer, so he gets to choose whether to check or raise, and he's just going to check and keep going, thinking that pot's big enough. Oh, we flipped over another eight, so let's pull in another card from the draw pile. And we got a king. If all I was left with was a three, I would definitely raise that pot again. So we have one more card to flip up, and there's a couple things that could happen here. It's a 10, and nobody has a 10. That means we go to a showdown. So we need to determine who has the highest hand and who has the lowest hand. Those two players will split the pot. In the event of a tie, you compare the next highest card. So here we have one player with an ace and a jack, and a player with an ace and a queen. Now both of those are technically worth 11, but the queen is higher than the jack. So when you compare the queen with the jack, the player that has the queen in their hand wins. They have the highest valued hand. So in this game, the pot would be split between the player with the ace and the queen and the player with the three. Now let's take a look here and see what happens if we flipped up a three, 
then that player would actually get rid of their last card and they automatically win the hand. That is the basics for numbers. There's a lot of different variants for this game and I will post some of them down below in the description. Please be sure to dive into my channel and check out the other games that I've posted how to play. There's quite a few options and there's probably a couple you haven't heard of. Thanks for watching.